for watching today, this is Kinnear. Welcome back to another Starfield New Game Plus video. In our previous Crimson Fleet quest, we explored the lock on the planet below the key and discovered the true meaning of Crix's legacy. In this video, we're completing Breaking the Bank, sent by the Crimson Fleet to a luxury cruise ship, the Siren of the Stars. Our mission is to steal access credentials and a few other shiny baubles. We're at least make-believe pirates now, so this will work for us. But let's get started. Yeah, so we've been putting this off for a little while. We're going to head to the Siren of the Stars, a luxury cruise ship. We are working on the Crimson Fleet quest, breaking the bank. We're supposed to meet up with a contact of Navas, a guy who was in the fleet at some point in time and who was kicked out for reasons I'm not exactly clear on yet. Nice ship, little robots. Chunks packages falling off for no good reason. I think there's actually quite a bit of stuff I can loot through here. I'm going to try to refrain from that. We'll grab a few things along the way and look around. It's been a while since I've been on this ship. It's a cool ship. I will pick up these digipics. I will end up picking a lot of locks on this ship. There are actually a couple ways to go through this, some of which will open doors for you and make parts of that easier. However, it makes it a little more difficult to pick up some of the loot. It's time you showed up. Evgeny Rokov. Right, I, I like that name. On. A fancy outfit you got, buddy. Attention for. He's the oh, captain of Trident Luxury now. Lines ship. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yes, yes, I'm on a special mission. However, I don't think I'm going to tell you anything about it. Because the only way to achieve a win is by agreeing to play the game. But let's explore your story a little bit. Worst case scenario, I don't make the fleet, but I end up a couple thousand credits richer. That's almost a win-win, a don't you think? Yeah, I'm not going to go aggressive on this guy. Yeah, I figured As I remember, if like you that. play it cool and no pretend guys. like you really no, can't tell him anything, you don't have anything you can tell him, he, he'll go along with it and help you out. Message, I believe there are options where he will be less helpful, though. Was that all she sent you here to do? We're not going to tell him about what Neva asked us to do. To Hmm. Okay. So why are you targeting? I don't know, buddy. Maybe we're second. branching out into the banking Not business. Exactly your Delgado's got big plans. Why do you we're all going to get fancy high-rise offices. Playing it safe for now. Okay. I can respect that. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm going to stick my neck out by helping you get near Dombrowski, I want something in return. Well, well, it appears we have a That's an odd dialogue here. choice. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's a so it is reasonable to help this guy out if you are planning to side with the Crimson Fleet. Eventually, he will end up as a pirate captain who will help you out in your fights. But I suppose that's the best. I don't think he's ever recruitable as a companion. But he's, he's so absolutely the there time, uh, during the fight the against the vigilance Probably if you're on the side of the Crimson time Fleet. Cruising the space lanes and actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity. So they're having a fancy ball. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VI. And our mission is literally just to go to the event mean? and talk to people. You're going to have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists and... Dig up some dirt. Oh, actually, I do have a dinner jacket, or at least I have a nice yeah, jacket from Walter. Well, lucky for you, it's not Didn't think about that. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. We'll pick the pirate choice as long as there are free booze. Oh, there's one last thing. Trident equips. Yes, yes, we will not shoot anybody anyone. on the ship. Anyway, I suppose that. Which is all right, because we've got a Conde on our back anyway, right? So we can't really 
We can't really off anybody. I don't think we can off anybody. Maybe we could kill Dombrowski. I have not tried that, but uh, we'll consider that as an option. I probably have a bladed weapon on me or in the ship. So I'm going to look in here. This door is actually the back way that we can come back down from the the rooms later. So you're a guest of Captain It's not important that it's open. We can open it later, but we'll go into Rockoff's cabin. And we can read his terminal and there'll be some backstory on this. Yeah, first of all, somebody went missing. And Trident's worried about that, and some things went missing. Trident's worried about that too. So, yeah, Rokov's on board doing his, his thing. These messages, I assume these are from Neva. Unknown source. Yeah, so... The missing crew member was definitely a hit, which he took care of. And I think there's a reference at some point in time that he stole some products or goods and it wasn't a big deal, but there are two things in the room. There is a safe, if you're interested, the request denied evidence. If you are going to side with Sysdef, you can use this to have Rokoff picked up and put in the brig, and he will be removed from the fight at the end if you are on the Sysdef side. So pick it up. Nothing spectacular. A little credits, did you pick? I think that's it. Unless you want to steal his furniture, his knickknacks. And since I'm not building large scale bases, we won't do that. Let's just go. These are crew rooms. There are things to loot. I'm not going to bother with them. This whole ship, actually, if you want to loot it and, and pick it clean, there's there's quite a bit of material up here. Trident must have spent a fortune equipping this ship with I'm gonna try to stick to the main items and restrain myself from picking up Captain everything Rogue I see. In any of the that will be difficult. Between you and me, the best there are probably the potatoes in there we could steal. I just haven't been in here in a long time, so I'm looking around. We'll go to the Star View Ballroom. Yet. I don't know if she'll bust you for stealing. She's definitely there looking at me. Keep yourself, lady. Now we're at the Star View Ballroom. You have a conversation there. There's a door back there and some goods that you can loot. There's some contraband on the ship, too, if you're that interested. I am... Always tempted. This is where Larry Brown Dombrowski, is that what his name is? Yeah, Larry Dombrowski is sitting at the beginning. There's a bunch of credits up here you can pick up. You really don't need them at this point in time. But if you like them and you want to pick them up, they're here and nobody cares. Anyway, we're not going to talk to Larry up here yet. I don't know if there's any benefit of it. Our goal is just to talk to as many of these people as required until we learn about two things. Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the awards committee this year. Wait. Ah, there we go. Now we know about the Earth Savior Award. We need to talk to Sheila about the award. Enjoy the rest of the event. Here for business? Or let's put it this way. He's I like that there's an so optional people, quest to kill Larry Dabowski the whole time. From the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Hey, this young Holt. fella also doesn't like Larry. The society is such he's a not word. giving us the inside scoop. That's all then? Okay. I don't need any I more information on the award or the Terran Preservation Society. We need girl. somebody who wants to Are talk about Larry. She has some kind of animation that is keeping her from 
speaking with us. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia there you go. Swist. Quality spending time, time with Claudia Swiss. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. Catch my meaning. About it. And he has a wife who is not Claudia Swiss. There you go. That is what we needed to know. And we can move on. Head up the stairs. Those two doors are a bathroom. We'll put on our fancy persuasion outfit. Maybe throw back a bottle of Merlot. I don't actually know if I have to persuade her of anything, but there's quite a bit of booze on this cruise. We will not be short. Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? We really just need in her to tell cabin. us. There you go. Oh, you must be nervous keeping Why it in your cabin, to which so she says, Oh, it's not I'll my cabin. That would be silly. The and then she tells us where it is. That's, that's all we need. Inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much... And now we can visit the purser's office. We will leave the ballroom, head back into the lodgings area. On the bottom floor to the right. What we want is behind the red door there, but we can't get to it right now, so we're not even going to bother Glad with it. To have you we do want to have a conversation with Chief Purser Murata. Welcome to the Purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can She's I be of assistance enough. today? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked. Is there anything else I can... And now we know... We need a special claim ID oh, in order to look at it. The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damaged in the unlikely event, in the even more unlikely Let's event. get to know if the whole ship is blown so, up. Our loved ones can, can imagine, collect our things. Nice. An excellent question. My responsibilities include all of the Siren's financial, custom. Honestly, I really enjoy the work. I will also note, if you have not picked up the slate in Rokov's room already, well, or if you didn't you know about it, through a dialogue with her, I'm she sorry. will tell you that it's he's involved with the Crimson Fleet. To discuss our personal feelings towards a fellow crewmate. I don't want to lose my job. Why should I tell you? I will use manipulation. I think... Technically speaking, you wearing the right. wearing the Walter suit and having slammed yeah, a bottle of Merlot so. earlier in our conversation but, with right. the ES but award you lady. This from me. Do you understand? This will all work out. I don't want to lose my job. I like Captain Rokov, but I think he's mixed up with some very dangerous people. I was bringing Delgado. To his I've come to understand Delgado day. means thin man, which is interesting. And I believe Neva actually has a, uh, a less than that complimentary but the definition. Mentions Although I don't recall it off the top of my head. I just remember it wasn't nice. As in pirates. Can you believe it? If you want to grab it, the slate should still be in his quarters. Somewhere. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy her. the cruise. That should be Claudia over there to the right. And we can have this conversation with her pretty much any time. I'm going to go back up and speak with Sheila Holbrook again. And just try to get the claim ID. Must you continue these on... Excuse, Excuse me? me? 
And why in goodness it is a good question. Would I do I'm actually quite surprised at how that. easily she gives this up. And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? No manipulation option. And that's what we'll I do this the difficult way. Oh, there's a manipulation option. Huh. Pop. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Great, so oh, we get the key. Just take the damn thing already. And we're not going to go get the award right now. That That's an option once we progress the other part of the quest here. There's no need for the insurance company to get involved. But I like to have it in here. There's no reason you can't go talk to Claudia Swift first. I might have to persuade her. We're going to develop a bad habit here. Let's just keep chugging bottles of wine. Now we're very persuasive. We're drunk. I don't know. Two bottles of wine? Pretty short time. We're probably feeling all right. <laughs> Sorry. Do I know you? No, I'm not trying to pick you up. But if it helps me in okay, conversation, wait, you're welcome to you think that. Seriously, I are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone, and my partner doesn't like competition. Oh, let's get straight to he the gets point. Very jealous. His wife. Uh, oh, for the love of God! I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it going to take to make us both happy? At this point, we've got the cash. This is a shortcut, but I just like playing this game since I went to all the trouble of drinking an extra bottle of wine. If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Well, let's go for the big one. The Crimson Fleet. What the hell? Dombrowski has us mixed up with the Crimson Fleet? That's true. We're dangerous yeah, people, lady. Tell us what we want to know. All right. You've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out. And then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself Gabriel and this other Vera. guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. Good luck. Speak to Gabriel Vera. Great. Dombrowski. See, there's something to be said for uh, this particular group of criminals. So the three of them are in a criminal conspiracy. Oh yeah, that's her room. You can walk up to any of these doors and see who's in them, but I've not found anything interesting. Now, technically speaking, there's a stage later in the game where you can unlock all the doors. The problem I've run into in the past is that when you unlock the doors, given what you have to do to get that to happen, the occupants are back in their rooms. And so you don't have free reign of the rooms. You can't go in and loot them and steal everything that's in there. It is easier. So if you hate lockpicking, you can go that route. But I often find myself in fights after stealing things and it kind of ruins the whole quest for me so i will pick the locks and go into the rooms there's a lock on the front door that you have to pick 
there's a storage room over there. I think it's a novice lock. And then there's a safe in the bedroom area of all the cabins that's worth picking as well. And if you want to collect outfits, clothing, or crew, or just for yourself, there's usually clothing in all these suites. And we have an advanced safe. There's a naval cutlass for you. Perhaps that's what we should use on Mr. Larry Dombrowski. Dombrowski. These little utility closets are, I think, for ship maintenance. And you can get a key to them too, but again, usually they have a digipick inside. So you'll spend a digipick getting inside, and you'll find a digipick inside. And then there's something minor usually. Let's get back to Miss Swift. You again? This better not be. I'm gonna shake you down. down. I am gonna do a quick save just in case I mess this up. I'm pretty sure my my theft skill is very low, like it's just a one. But now we can raid her room. There is a good reason to raid her room. Not only do we get more Merlot, because we keep chugging that stuff like it's going out of style. Whatever clothing she has sitting around in bags. feel compelled to open all the doors. There's never anything in there. More drinks. And there's the slate we want. My darling Claudia. So there's evidence, evidence against Larry. Evidence of the affair, at least. So we've been in Gabriel Vera's room and in Claudia Swift's room down here on the bottom floor. Since we're at it, We'll go ahead and work the other rooms up here. I really only care about Larry's room and the woman that runs the Earth Savior Award. The reason we care about Larry's room, aside from miscellaneous loot, is this book, Race to the Heavens. If you are sticking around in this world or you're pursuing the snow globes so that you can get the suit of armor, which is really only relevant if you're going to stick around in this world, Race to the Heavens gets you the location of Dubai on Earth. And if you complete this quest and move on to the next quest, this ship is no longer available. And if you haven't picked up this book, Finding Dubai becomes extremely difficult, although not impossible. I have found Dubai before, literally by comparing the map with what it looks like from space and running around a lot. I don't recommend it, so pick up the book here. He has slightly more credits than the other ones, but still. I think if you loot all the safes, you will collect enough credits that you can cover the amount that you end up paying off an occasional NPC. Okay, let's get back to the ballroom. Have things to do. Oh, just out of curiosity, what's behind her? At the moment, Aurora is a great on Trident Starliners, though we're working on having that changed. There is one room in here, I don't remember where it is, where there's some contraband. I know I don't need it, but I'll just keep looking at it. That is Mr. Gabriel. 
Here for business or pleasure? In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and Pleased to make your acquaintance. Gabriel Vera. A bit lost in these surroundings. Very standoffish. Looks like a security guy. Hello. You here for the charity event? See if we can shake him for a little information. Dombrowski. Uh, he's, he's playing it coy, yeah, as if he I doesn't know Larry. Security, not Galbank. I don't. Until we mention Claudia. Claudia sent you this. And now he's. Look, friend. Now he just wants us to go away. Just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Worried? Why should I be worried? Why should I be worried? I'm in UC security, and I'm corrupt. And the people around me are corrupt, and I'm a criminal. I work for UC security. This is one of those moments where, like, Marika Barossa's story starts to make sense. You're like, there are so many corrupt individuals in all of the factions. And at this moment, you might ask yourself, well, are the pirates really any worse? They are slightly more murdery, I would say. Back to Rokoff. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. It will Probably be very tricky. Not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. I do find it a little difficult to take him seriously Mark, as a pirate in that. There's an emergency. Standard practice is green and white uniform. To clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support. Systems. Excellent. Let's create an emergency. Manipulate a few controls. Tamper with life support. You can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Because I have Starship Engineering, we're going to take no this option. The others work as well. Meant. I have no Those idea what all that technical jargon meant. Will buy us plenty so of he's time. a pirate captain who does not have thing. Starship Engineering. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you. I've done this quest multiple times without Starship pay. Engineering. It's fine. What's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet? Right. I don't care about any anyway, of these I'm options. Start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Remember, the moment you shut down that system, the entire ship goes into lockdown. I'm slightly lost. Don't forget to keep your Starview pass you handy think? at all times. Yeah, we have to go through the ballroom Here again. Business or pleasure. Have you tried the canopies? I'll do the pirate thing, take some credits. As long as the credits keep rolling in, I think that's what they say. There is a room over here with a couple of helmets in it usually, if you want them. And some loot in a box on the... I thought there was loot in the box, but... Anyway. That room Every behind her. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with it. I There's contraband in there. If you want it, usually. And she won't. Stars. I don't. She won't bust you if you're standing behind her and sneaking. It's Scotty, the ship's engineer from Star Trek. up this area is off limits to passengers wait a second you're captain rockoff's guest right didn't expect to see you down here sorry to give you trouble what can i do for you 
I would like to get into the life support area. Oh, uh, sorry, that area is off limits. No exception. Hey, buddy. We're Starship Engineering friends. Ah, you're a fellow techie, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. Tell you what, I'm just going and to. And I will let you in next to all the dangerous controls. Things. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm. Away. Evidently, a job on a luxury Starliner doesn't require Remember, not strict to adherence to safety things. protocols. Let this guy go for a walk. See ya. Let's open the doors. If you're interested in what's going to happen next. You really don't have to read those other two. Tag these three. All passengers. And we're good. May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a We're just going to run back upstairs through the ballroom. This is also our opportunity to grab the ES award. Unlock the door. Earth Savior award, just pick it up. And while we're in here, let's take everything that's not nailed down. Can't leave a gun sitting there. Let's go talk to Mr. Vera. All passengers. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. Yes, it's time that was to me. Stop playing games and tell me why you're here. Let's go UC Cisco this time. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? For all your cleverness, both Clark you and she that. have been ripped off. You sure? Damn it! By the banker that with the large vocabulary. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. I'm just going to pay him. Like I said, I've picked up enough loot along the way. At least I walk away with something. Meaning. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Interesting backstory on Commander Akande. What I like about this is if you listen to the Jasper Crick's slates, the interview with SSNN, you'll get this story about UC Sistef and how it was a way for the United Colonies to just kind of shuttle off this whole pirate problem. This guy's essentially backing that up. Vera will essentially tell you that they're not that worried about it either. Akande's loaded with big picture ideas, but not a ton of evidence to put them into action. And frankly... It's driving my superiors crazy. What's nice is when you're in an alternate universe and you're not dealing with Constellation, well, if you side with the Crimson Fleet, you won't have the Constellation companions to enough. complain about it. They On won't the all want to talk hand, to you. You have a minute very, to talk, special I think Sarah says. I have some friends that can, well, let's just say, take care of the problem. That's if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. So now we're gonna go talk to Larry. All passengers are being asked to return to their cabin. There's no 
Cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction. We've already been here. We've already looted the place. There he is, smugly sitting in his chair. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding... Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you... I see. Well, that certainly places a damper on oh, our negotiations. I Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Quite a shame that you need to resort to blackmail to arrive at the point of ex It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me... Oh, of course I trust you'll under... Now, if you'll excuse me, I need... So that's largely it. You could take this opportunity to loot the rest of the ship. I believe the entire time you're on this ship, you are within transfer range of your own ship, so you can pick things up and dump them back into your own cargo. Not a problem. Confirm that I have the Earth Savior Award. Rokoff is waiting at the bottom of the stairs for us. The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and proceed to your ship. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad you feel that. Just going to keep him around remember, in case he's useful later. No, I'm still wondering exactly. Still not going to let him in uh, on so what's going on. Keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you not to really necessary. with a fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing. Tovarich. Tovarich. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old rock. Over rich. Nice sound on word. Anyway. Thanks for all the help, Mr. Fancy Hat. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. Nonsense. And remain there until but there's you one universal constant you can depend on. Well, I suppose this is where we... And we can run over to where we talked to Claudia earlier and head down this ramp this ship is and be of fairly close to our ship. I think technically at this point I could probably fast travel to the next destination. So keep that in mind if you want to save a few minutes. I do tend to run out to my ship. Set course. I probably should have gone to the commercial district directly. We arrive at the commercial district, head to Galbank.
Reload everything before we go down. That's not suspicious at all. Getting into an elevator to bank. Hello. Well, just one moment. Oh, uh, no, no. N hey, uh, look, please don't, don't mention this to my suit. Me? No. Everything checks out. There we go. I don't think you check out, buddy. There's something suspicious about it. Wonder what it is. Oh, look at all those fellas here to greet me. They must be bankers. That guy wasn't a banker. Okay. made you easier to kill. Thank you very much for coming over. I will take all your terrible loot. Not those stairs. These stairs. Stack of credits. We'll take it. And this is what we want. So just look at all the ships. I'm going to do the legacy last. That'll update the quest. I don't think anybody's found these other three ships. There we go. Now we know what we need to know. The discussion of the transponders. And we're set. We can head back to the key. So we do a debriefing with Neva Everybody and Delgado. He tells us that Rokoff is else. back. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on. They do their typical on. slightly too much now dialogue option. We and we pick the option that lets him stay. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. Delgado, I truly question All your right. judgment. Keep now letting me make decisions way, like this. We can this. move on to the matter at Quixis Legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that value. Ah, so the contract's one went down a little bit at four. I don't know. I just have to Neighbor? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got Vanic 4. Let's see. Damn it. Vanic 4 is an EM class gas giant. You can't even get a ship near the thing without flying every circuit aboard. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. Both of you shut up, I think, for a second. I'm sure we see the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how we got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That looks right. We tackle one problem at a time, and we try to get paid. That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra big encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comms fight. All right, here's the plan. So shut. Look, I want you and Neva to put your heads In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comms fight with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. We do or we die. That's the way Quixton thinks. I promise. You can write that in your diary, little girl. All right, that's enough. We are in arms reach of Quixton's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. We'll find Jazz. There's a slate in the corner Who's here, A17 Raya? Evidence. Again, hey, if we hey, want to turn her in at some future point, we will see. need that. Don't bust a gut. It's hefty, but I know you can handle it. A little bit of miscellaneous loot in the cabinets, and if she doesn't seem to mind, we're taking it. Again, pirates don't seem to care that you take their stuff. Out. Oh yeah, thanks for sending over the keys reactor specs. I can't tell you exactly why I needed those. Bell said to keep it hush hush. As far as next month's shipment, start scrapping. What does Naval want? Naval wants the Earth Savior Award. Batteries. They're looking kind of rusty. Oh, 
I guess that's it for now. I'll have... So I've tested this either way, and quite frankly, right. I, I'm pretty sure I get more money by just telling her I couldn't find it. You couldn't find it. Wow, Ruck. Just, wow. You had one... Well, congratulations. I don't think they have the math Not right only. here, but that's just my that's, that's my memory. Right, I'm going to pick up 16,000 credits for this. If I give her do. the award, I so think I get, get less. But I haven't actually checked my inventory yeah, before and after, but I, I did save and restore at one point in time in a previous New Game Plus. And we will rush over to the Vigilance and report to Akande. And we will mention that we ran into Larry Dombrowski, and I'm going to give her that slate. That's the only one I'm going to give her so far. Primarily because I don't remember how much money they give me for slates. I believe if you turn in enough slates, you will get a special pistol. So I heard there was a bit of but it's not that special. So it's, it's a bit of work, and I think probably you would generate 50,000 credits if you turned in enough of them, maybe more, something like that. Nice work. Any specific evidence? If the evidence pans out, you can visit those alleged criminals in our break the next time you stop by. But for now, what do you have on Delgado? Yes, and I have. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. You've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. Yeah, she's pretty lit up about Delgado. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't change the fact that Delgado is still a murderer. Your best buddy has killed every single one of our previous informants. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid she doesn't I'm not know familiar about it. with that device, sir. It's a highly classified project. Shouldn't be familiar but please, allow me to tell you all about it right project. now. On it's the bridge, in front of all these other people, the because it's highly classified. That sounds like a great idea. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must, there be, must an be an information, information leak somewhere, somewhere, sir. sir. Or just it's a wholesale disregard sense. for I'll information control protocols. Out. Maybe that's it. Yes. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> I don't think I'm surprised we'll at this point in time. Like the UC couldn't keep a secret if they had to. and I will see what we can find out about Bannock Four. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and This mission is going to require discretion hey, on Jillian. a number of fronts. Jillian, come back. Come on. Galbank plan? I think that's the one I want is Galbank plan. I still have Carter's gig. I don't think that affects anything. I could turn that in too. Hey champ. I'm including this month's list of parts I need for the key. Don't bust. Yeah, if you start one of the slates playing and you want it to stop, you can open it again and hit E to stop it. Okay, Carter. Confirming that the latest code to the utility room is 48611071. Okay, maybe we can talk to her. Would you stand still, Toft? He's just walking around in circles. Remember to turn in any evidence fragments. Excellent. I have evidence. Let's see. Let me have it. So when you and when I'll you offer evidence, database. they will look at your inventory and they will give you a list of options. I'm not going to turn in Adler or Rokoff. Are you kidding me? I will turn in the Galbank guy. was already making a six. It makes me sick. For lots of reasons, but else? not the least of which is he's kind of a jerk. So that's about it. I do see. Is it Alex Vong right behind her? We can have a conversation with him. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I don't know about you. People who work undercover, they're sneaky by nature. Hard to read. 
What do you think about people who wear their full flight suit on the bridge of a ship? Boxes by the Marquess of Queensbury rules. I think it's unusual that he wears his full flight suit on the bridge of a ship. A wild card. That's just me. Like you might. Like I open up my inventory option and I have that little button I can press that makes my helmet disappear while I'm inside breathable space. He has not found that yet. But we'll come back and talk to you again later. But if Commander Ikande says your sis Steph, then you are one of us. For now. Try not to forget who you are, okay? It would break the commander's heart to have to hunt you down. It would break the commander's heart to have to hunt you down. Heard you made off with something called. You would be sad. Well, that's it for now. We have wrapped up breaking the bank. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Remember, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and get notifications. This is Kinnear, and I'm out of here.